you ever seen uh, somebody towing a trailer going down the road and all of a sudden it starts swinging back and forth in the back looking like it's gonna try to rip itself off from the hitch that's from improper loading and too much or too little tongue weight today we're gonna talk about an important topic that uh, most people who trailer anything whether it's an RV a fifth wheel a boat or just some stuff on a trailer uh, most people don't really pay attention to is tongue weight here we've got our cobalt 292 about a 30 foot boat um, it is an open bow so it's not the closed bow version that's heavier we're right at about uh, I'd say probably 7,500 to 8,500 pounds depending on how much weight we have in here and uh, we're gonna go through how to measure tongue weight for more content like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, and if you want to be notified when new videos do get uploaded, make sure to hit that little bell icon next to the subscribe button. This is the scale we're going to use. It's specifically meant to measure the tongue weight of a trailer. You can buy these on eBay or different trailer part outlet stores. I'll put the link to the eBay um, listing where I purchased it so that you can purchase your own if you need. There's also different types of scales that you can purchase that uh, sit on the hitch or as part of the hitch so that they can be a permanent fixture there if you want to do it that way. This is just an inexpensive way to do it um, since we're dealing with the fixed load that doesn't really change off and works out well for us. You see the numbers are in kilograms, so we're going to have to convert pounds to kilograms for our measurements. Um, you can just Google that as far as what the conversion rate would be from certain amount of pounds, a certain amount of kilograms, it's pretty straightforward. Um, it's a good small unit, compact, fits nicely in the garage, doesn't take up a lot of space, and it doesn't permanently have to be attached to your hitch. So for us, it works out really well. Let me give you a quick summary of what sort of weight distribution you're looking for. So our trailer is a triple axle. We've got six wheels and three axles. And for a triple axle, generally, general rule of thumb, and it's not the same across the board, it depends on where your axles are lined up uh, in approximation to where your load is. Um, but general rule of thumb for a triple axle trailer, you're looking at a uh, about a 5 to 7% um, weight ratio. That means about 5 to 7% of your weight total should be on the tongue. And for a tandem axle, which is two axles, you want about 10% of your weight on the tongue. And then for a single axle trailer, you're looking for somewhere between 12 to 15% of your weight on the tongue. Um, now let's use some round numbers just to keep it simple. If you've got a total weight of uh, say 1,000 pounds, which is not realistic, but say you got 1,000 pounds of total weight, um, you want somewhere around um, 150 pounds on the tongue for a single axle trailer and if you were dual axle you would want somewhere around 100 pounds on the uh, tongue and if you were triple axle at 1000 pounds you'd be looking at about 70 pounds on the tongue um, and then you know multiply that by whatever your approximate total weight is our approximate total weight with boat and trailer is somewhere between 7500 to 8500 pounds uh, depending on how much gear and fuel and water and everything else we have on board. So um, with that number in mind, what do you think the tongue weight should be? Um, so we would take, give or take, 8,000 pounds and 7% of that would be what we're looking for. You did the math in your head that quickly. We're looking at somewhere between 550 to 650 pounds, maybe 700 pounds at the top end. So then since our scale is in kilograms we've got to take 700 pounds and convert that to kilograms what does that come out to did you get it so that's about 315 kilograms give or take 310 315 um, that's going to be at the top end of what our scale can measure but uh, we don't want it to go too far past that and uh, and be too heavy so let's go ahead and lower the trailer tongue down onto the scale and see where we land um, I've never measured this before on this particular boat. I've always gone off of uh, feel of what, uh, what the truck is doing when we're driving and also uh, just having several boats in the past, knowing approximately where the boat needs to be lined up forward and backwards. 
um, in relation to the axles and uh, and where they are against the hull of the boat. Um, so I'm real curious to see where this weight ends up and see how far off the mark I am. I had to reconfigure. The jack wasn't coming up high enough because of how low the tongue had to go for that scale. So instead of the uh, two blocks of 2x4s, I put that wheel under there, gave us enough height. So let's see where we are. We are, don't know if you can read that, that's 350 and that's 340. So uh, we're a little bit below 340, probably between the 340 and 330 mark. I would say 335 is uh, 335 kilograms and we were aiming for about 315. At, uh, at about an 8,000 pound capacity. So what that means is we're a little bit over on the tongue weight. We're probably closer to a eight or 9% than a 7%. And what, what we can do in order to uh, fix that, if it is causing any sort of driving issues or you have too much squat in the rear or anything like that, what we can do is move the boat backwards just a little bit I'd say probably six inches would be enough for that small of a difference. Um, and that'll take a little bit more of the weight and shift it towards the rear, uh, behind the rear axles and a little bit less weight forward of, of, the, uh, of the axles. Um, so the easiest way to do that, put the boat in the water, of course, um, get it off the trailer, and then what uh, different trailers are different. Some are not adjustable. But on this trailer, I, I had this, uh, bow catcher this cow catcher installed and it is adjustable um, it's held on by some u-bolts there so what i would do is as soon as the boat's in the in the water i would go in the parking lot at the boat ramp undo those u-bolts move it back about six inches and then reload the boat and weigh it again um, in my particular case the truck still drives very stable and very good um, I'm not gonna have this at the top of my list of things to do, but we are getting the boat cleaned up this weekend uh, and getting it ready for the season. And it's a good time to go ahead and make some adjustments on the trailer. Also keep in mind, depending on what sort of gear you have in the boat, how much of it is in the front, how much of it is in the rear, you could do something as simple as shifting your weight around. Um, put more of your stuff, your ice chests, your you know heavier equipment, stuff like that in the back and put some of the lighter stuff up front. That goes for, you know, loading trailers when you're moving, you run a U-Haul trailer, um, if you're um, towing a fifth wheel, anything that, uh, that requires a trailer to be attached to your truck, you always wanna make sure your tongue weight is correct, at least close. That's gonna give you the safest driving situation uh, and give you the best experience going down the road, especially if you're on the highway. So hopefully this video was helpful for you. Um, if you have any comments or questions, leave them down in the comments below. If you have a better way of doing this, I'm always up for hearing new ideas and learning from others. Definitely would love to hear what your experience has been. Um, and as always, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. And check out the other videos on the channel. I hope you guys enjoy this. Love y'all. See you next time.